can do it is a drum roll. This is a drum tattoo as performed by our wonderful military marching bands and that is the only kind of tattoo which impresses me. Unlike this one, look, look at that, look, get out of here. Tattoo, believed by some historians to have originated in Tahiti, where it was called the Tator, maybe for ritual reasons, ceremonial, coming of age, make the crops grow, we don't know. In some parts of the world it was known as the Tato, or the Tatu. We call it the Tattoo. Now I've never felt the need to cover my skin in coloured pictures in order to be noticed. If I want to be noticed I'll do something else. Well, by tradition, sailors will have an anchor on the forearm. Well, there's a lot of superstition in the Navy then, and there still is now. now. Back in the days of sailing ships, when it was much more hazardous to go to sea, many of the crew believed quite strongly that if they had an anchor, they would never drown. Well, I can understand that. They had a reason for that. It was a superstition. Rightly or wrongly, they believed it. I can accept that. Today it seems to be commonplace. Young people are covering themselves in this sort of thing. And one or two of them said to me they want to be different. Well, they want to be different, they all end up looking alike. It's so sad to see attractive young people destroying their good looks with this permanent disfiguration. They've turned themselves into fairground freaks. And that's a good analogy. When I was a kid, I used to go to our local fair and for sixpence, two and a half p, you could go into a tent and see the tattooed lady. And there she would sit, covered in designs and symbols and pictures. And as I remember, she wasn't wearing very much, which was a pity really, because she was fat. She had rolls of fat, oh, it was awful. Now, although we were fascinated by this, we didn't really like it. Well, tattooists today are still making a fortune. They're doing well and good luck to them. They're all doing well. Except for one I heard of. He, he was sacked for a silly mistake. A girl had asked him for a snake on her leg. But he started on the knee, choosing his colours carefully. Red, green, a little bit of black. Well, after a while she smacked him in the mouth and walked out. It wasn't really his fault. I mean, how long is your average snake? He didn't know. But it doesn't look nice anymore. So, you kids, don't do it to yourselves. It's not cool anymore. Get off. Come, come here, come here. Look, look. There you are. Close up on that. <laughs>